All right, uh, let's check on the video. Oh, damn. Well, 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 y'all seem to really like that last video. More than I anticipated, actually. So much that you <laughs> really want me to say more things. Uh, a lot more things. Lucky for us, I got quite a bit of free time and a couple friends. Though that being said, <clears throat> hell yeah, brother, it's Starlo in time. It's a beautiful day outside. Cowboys are galloping, tumbleweeds are rolling. On days like these, kids like you should wield illegal firearms. Turn around, kid, and be a crime. If I had to go back on the promise that I made for you, so don't step over that line. If I had a nickel for every time I tried to run someone over with the train, I'd have two nickels, which, which isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened twice. <laughs> I've seen better sides of beef than run over by a combine. Clover, where's my six shooter? Saroba, are you emo? I broke the goddamn wheel! Clover, I hate sand. It's coarse, rough, irritating, and it gets everywhere. Come down today and try some corn, or we will sacrifice your newborn. Now, Clover, there are four rules as to how to properly use a gun. Not getting a hold through yourself. First rule is to treat every gun as if it's low. Oh, tarnation! Should have reminded him about being careful. You know, if if Mario was real, I'd be Mario. I I think I'm starting to like men. The Franchi Spas 12 is a combat shotgun manufactured by Italian firearms company Franchi from 1979 to 2000. The Spas 12 is a dual mode shotgun. A Deputy, why in gosh darn tarnation are you buying clothes from the superstore? The 12 is sold to military and police users worldwide, as well as on the civilian market. Hello, you and welcome to Low Starlo Sermonics. My name is Gustarlo, you can call me Sus. So. The Spas-12 was designed from the ground up as a rugged military shotgun, and it was named the Special Purpose Automatic Shotgun. And so apparently I was not supposed to play Clash of Clans at Children's Funeral. How in gosh darn tarnation was I supposed States, to know that? Limited magazine capacity, fixed stock model until 1994. Following the United States Federal Assault Weapons Ban, imports of Spas-12 shotguns to the United States were stopped. In September 2004, the band am, am I a furry? The Franchi ended production of the Spas 12 in 2000 to focus on the manufacturing of the Spas 15 model, which was based off the Spas 12. The Spas Man, 12's these cowboy movies are so cool. US dollars Wish horses average were real. Final sales outside the United States to non-restricted countries. Icarus Complex. I find it to be quite simple. Shooter? I hardly know her. But that's just a theory. A gun theory! Yeah! It ain't gun violence, it's fun violence. Saroba, listen, I I know the humans kill dozens of monsters, but you, you just gotta let me cook here. Wait, what? Where'd the funny stuff go? Uh, something's wrong. Give me a second, I'll fix this. Uh-oh. Prepare for trouble! And make it double! To protect the underground from devastation! To unite all monsters within our nation! To denounce the evils of truth and love! To extend our reach for the stars above! Starlo! Clover! The Wild East duo will win this fight! Surrender now, or prepare to fight! Yeah, boss, that's right! <laughs> we really got you good, huh? Yeah, Star, I suppose you did. Uh, you should probably get back to doing your lines, though. You know, it ruins the pace of the video or whatever. Right, right, I'll get back to it. What was the, f what was the next line? Oh, right, right, yep. Yeah. Hey, guys, did you know that in terms of human male and female Pokemon... Gosh, deadly darn it, there's a snake in my boot. How tarnation did I get there? And that's why you don't use kilometers when pacing for a duel. What the hell is a kilometer? Your Honor, I have no idea how that child got a gun. I would never give a gun to someone underage. The answer? Use a gun. That don't work. Use more gun. 
There is no way that sheriff is straight. I am so sick and tired of every single day accusations being thrown at me that I am and I'm an active and practicing member of the, the QIA Plus community. I'm not. I'm a straight farmer. I'm an ally of the of the little bit of the QIA Plus community. Go you. You know, go you. I guess what you're doing is fine. I suppose. For you to accuse me of being a part of the community and, and when I'm not, when I'm a straight lawman, is, is an act of crime against my sexuality. Let's, let's hear it for the straights. I'm straight and I'm proud. A visitor? Indeed, I have slept long enough. The kingdom of heaven has long since forgotten my name and I am eager to make him remember. However, the dust of Soroba clings to your clothes, and I must admit, I am curious about your skills, Clover. And so, before I tear down the cities and crush the armies of the surface, you shall do as an appetizer. Come forth, child of man, and die! Starlo, I just have one question. What is it, Ed? What color is an orange? Ed, you bonehead. The color is the same as its name, just like a lemon. Starlo, what type of defense is this? I am the defense. It's high noon. Were you waiting for high noon 30 to shoot? I make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors. Now, Clover, here's the first rule of using guns. Make sure to choose a bullet with the right caliber. Never mind, I guess. Hey, everyone's finger slips sometimes. L like that time I shot that guy. This town ain't big enough for the two of us, partner. What about everyone else in the town? Look, there's a genocidal human in the underground who's wiped out everyone they set eyes upon. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. Clover, <laughs> you gotta understand that I'd win. Where are my pills? I... I need my pills. They, they took my pills. Good evening, Your Majesty. I tip my hat to you, but... I'm feeling a little sad right now. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, Starlo. Would you care for a cup of tea? They always say who's the wildest in the East. Never how's the wildest in the East. Saroba, I... I've been meaning to ask you something. What is it, Star? Would you... Sorobo, would you still love me if I was a sandworm? <sighs> yes, Starlo, I'd still love you if you were a sandworm. You mean it, Sorobo? Hell yeah, brother! Hell yeah! Over here wrangling cattle right now. I got horses to ride right now. Root beer to drink. I'm y'all as fuck, man. I'm a cowboy, man. Stay still. I don't want to hit my lasso. Stay still. I don't want to hit my lasso. Stay still. I don't want to hit my lasso. Stay still. I don't want to hit my lasso. Stay still. I don't want to. Hit my lasso? No. You are not a real gamer. I am so sick of all these people that think they're gamers. No, you're not. Most of you are not even close to being gamers. I see these people put saying, I, I pulled well over 100 hours in this game and it's great. That is nothing. That's nothing. Most of us can easily put 300 plus hours in all our games. 
I see people who only have a Nintendo Switch and claim to be gamers. Come talk to me when you pick up a PS4 controller. Then we'll be friends. Also, dear women, Pokemon is not a real game. Animal Crossing is not a real game. The Sims is not a real game. Mario is not a real game. Stardew Valley is not a real game. Mobile games are not real games. Put down the baby games and play something that requires challenge and scale for once. Sincerely, all of the actual gamers. All right, so I'm gonna give you a real ethical dilemma here. We got five water bottles and one root beer, and they're all tied to the track. And there's a goddamn trolley, and it's barreling towards the track. And as it stands, it's gonna go and goddamn hit the root beer. But you have a choice. There's a switch right here, and if you pull the switch, the trolley will switch, and it will hit the five water bottles. So I propose to you the dilemma. Do you do nothing and let the train hit the mug root beer? Or do you hit the lever and kill the lives of the woodaboos, but save the root beer? Well, I'll give you guys a second to think on that. All right, time is up. Here's the solution to this ethical problem right here. So you see the situation happening. What you do is you hurry up and, and you grab the root beer and you got darn open the root beer like so and you mm, mm. you drink the root beer and then you pull the switch I, I mean you, you don't pull the switch and the trolley comes through choo 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 trolley well that's it for saying a lot of things with North Star 2. I hope you enjoy it. Before the video's over though, I do want to talk a bit. Huge shout out to my friends Larry for voicing Clover and Kesa Shiba for voicing Martlet and Soroba. She also drew the doodles you're seeing now, which was super cool. I don't know if I'll do another full saying a lot of things with North Star, but I do plan to make a sort of part 2.5 where instead of saying lines, I sing in character. You can definitely suggest some songs in the comments. Thank you very much for sticking it out to the end. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.